One program that is commonly used in the classroom that's an educational software is called KidPix. It's a program in which students can draw interactively as well as include writing. It has many features that we're going to explore today. Today we're going to focus on addition and symmetry using addition um, using Ladybug Addition. If we go ahead and click on KidPix, we hear a fun intro song. And then it says enter your name here. So if we go ahead and click student and then go. First we're going to go to controls. Go to turn tool sounds off. This is a um, feature that teachers can use if headsets are not available in order to make sure that all the other students in the classroom are not being distracted. Here is our toolbar. If we go ahead and click on draw and then we click the pencil, here are the different sizes that you can have the line be. So if we click on medium and then if we wanted to do a straight line we would click on the straight line and let's make sections. But I think we'd like to use black. So if we go and click on black, we can redo that line. Right when it gets perfectly straight, we'll hit unclick the mouse and the line is there for us. We'll make another one. And then if we go ahead and click one in the center. And again, if it's not a straight line, you'll see that there's waves throughout the line. And if we bring it over here and we want to get it completely straight. So that looks straight. And then let's see. Let's go ahead and make circles. If we click the circle feature here, we can drag the mouse to make a circle whatever size we would like. We'll make three of them. Then, if we want to fill the inside of the circle, we can either color the inside ourselves with a pencil, or we can go to this tool right here, which is Fill Bucket. If we click it, then we change the, the paint color, and we go to red. We can click Solid Color. We'll make this one completely red. Or, as you can see here, there are other features that will make the inside of the circle designed. So if we click this one, and we, then we click the inside of the circle, you can see it makes that pattern. Let's make one more patterned one. If we click here, and then click the inside of the circle, we get another neat pattern. We'll go back to our drawing tools, where we can make another straight line, and this would be, we'll change the color, and this will be reinforcing the symmetry scale that children will have been working on. Again, we'll make sure that the lines are perfectly straight when we create them. And then we can go ahead and change the size. We'll go to thick. And it's still on black, which is what we'd like. So then the student could decide how many dots they would want each ladybug to have. If we make five on this side, then the student would know that symmetry means the same on both sides. So then they would create five on the other side. If we wanted two here, we would have to put two on the right as well. If we wanted four on the left, we would have to put four on the right as well. Then we could go and click the squiggle tool, which means that we it's freehand. We can draw however we'd like. So we'll go to the middle thickness, and we'll make antennas. Oops, I accidentally drew this line. That's okay though. We can go to the erase feature. We'll choose the square eraser. We'll hit the top because we don't want to get rid of our whole picture just yet. If we click the square, I can erase it. Voila! If I go back, now I can go and hit text. That means that I want to enter a text box. If I enter it here, we see the text box. I could change the font if I want it. We'll just go back to a regular font. Arial narrow. I can change the size. 18 is good, and I want it bold. Here, I would look at the first ladybug and say, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If there's 5 on this side, then there will also be 5 on this side. 
then I would write in the text box 5 plus 5 equals, and if I think how much it equals, it equals 10. Oh, but the text box is so long. That's okay. If we click the outside arrows, we can drag the mouse into how big we want the text box to be. That size seems a little big. I'll make it as small as it can go. Then, if we drag it, you'll see the white glove. I want it to be right in the middle of the square underneath it. I'll do that for another one as well. I'll click ABC, then I'll click on the screen, and it'll make a really big text box. This time I'll make the font Arial Black. I want to center what I write, and I want it to be underlined. I see there are two dots on the left side and two dots on the right side. So I would write 2 plus 2 equals 4. If I drag the mouse to make it small again, you'll see it's now centered. I'll then drag it to the center of the square and continue on to my third text box. Again, I'll click anywhere on the screen because the text box will appear. You will have to fix it. And I'll leave, I'll make it italicized this time. I see 1, 2, 3, 4. So if I do 4 plus 4 equals 8. And I drag it in. I'll move it over here. Oh, I forgot to put antennas. I'll go back to draw to the medium, the squiggle, and draw new antennas. That would be my basic worksheet. If I wanted to go and add rubber stamps, I could click rubber stamps, and then I could decide that if there would be a picture that would enhance my drawing. Well, if we're learning about science, then we would know that all animals need sunlight. So maybe I'll add in a sun to each of my squares. If I then decided that I didn't want the sun, I could go to the eraser, or if I realized that I just wanted to completely start my new drawing over, I would not go to the eraser head anymore, but rather the entire eraser, and I would click on the firework. If I then click on my drawing, the whole worksheet would go away. Again, this is a great interactive worksheet that students not only create themselves, but also um, are able to practice their skills as a supplement. Thank you. Well,